Yeah, no pressure, huh? Meanwhile, I barely slept, didn't I? Alright. Ah, crap. I just slept without eating. Damn it. God, I can't do anything right. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep to offset all this exhaustion d damage I'm taking. Whoops, forgot to eat. Now I took hunger damage. Would you like to replay that entire cutscene? <laughs> Plague, monsters, and wonders are all connected. Kill one, the rest will suffer too. Is my goal worth the sacrifice? Plague, monsters, and wonders. Father's inheritance was a question, not an answer. He never wanted to become never wanted me to become him, only understood what he underst only understand what he understood. I do now, and my choice will be mine. I've seen the kin's guts. I know now how to touch the apostates' hearts and convince them to come back. Oh! There's four people here, right? That were trying to kill me? I think they're saying they don't have to worry about that anymore. That'd be good news. I think I'm in the clear. Cool. Maybe I don't- so that, that fight doesn't have to happen now. And maybe this fight never has to happen. <laughs> Sorry, grief, but also maybe that's not really worth the effort. We'll see. Ah. I was sitting here trying to figure out how to get bullets to deal with the apostates, since I couldn't deal with them individually, but now maybe I can just talk to them, or maybe they'll just on my side. After my- what- after me proving myself just now, maybe that what just happened was significant enough that it bridges that gap. Ah. Duh. Hi? Asshole? Murky's friend is still you're being- yeah. I rise. No one can stop me now. And you can do nothing against me. I am taking them all. Who? All in your care. All you care for. They wish it you know. Worry not. Children have better odds than grown men. Much better. Like hell, I won't let you have them. I wonder how you think you should stop me. Why do you do it? Why the kids? I come to teach the folk how to overcome death. And children are the most striking of your kind. They can do more than their mothers and fathers. What do you mean overcome death? You are death. Untrue. I am not the same as death. I am but a test of men folks ken and prowess to overcome their bounds. And of all unknown bounds, death is the greatest tangle. That you will die is not but a belief. Worms, half men, so far from over men. What makes you think the kids want this transformation? They do. And if they don't, they will. That is the path your father set for them. That's why your list bears their names, the town's future, the ye- the- Oh, it's supposed to be yeast. This is missing A. The yeast to make it rise. I won't let you have them. You have no weapon. You mean your panacea. All heal, yes? What good is such a draught? A world bereft of the stuff to craft it. Wonders flee this world, Burak. I am one of dwindling few. You fail to ken it yet. They do. They're leaking out. But I know what the flow comes from now. I have heard such before. Even children managed to make a cure for you. Five years ago. Schmouders. Indeed. You are welcome to seek them out, but I reckon you will find no children in the streets these days. Know you the newest tidings, man of fog? Lend me an ear, then, to what I tell you. 
Oh, did you remove the kids so I can't hunt for schmouters with my nuts? Fuck. What tidings? Block had all the young ones taken away. They've been crammed into a train and sent away while you daydreamed. Few are left. Your wards, my wards now. The town that used to be ruled by children has been left childless. What a thought. Fuck. My resources are useless. A town with no future. This is it then. Fuck. What? No. Uh. What? Why was Sticky a gamble, but everyone else isn't? Motherfucker. Even murky. <sighs> Shit. Well, this changes today. I mean, I, I still need to, I still need to go to the play. And get to the dead item shop because he sells one panacea. He sells one. Uh. Schmouter. I can craft four panaceas. That's five people fixed. There's six people that are sick. More if you count everybody else, but I'm not really focused on them right now unless I gain a wellspring of panacea. Fuck. Uh. The sand fe the sand pest defies its own rules. It took all of my wards and drags them towards death. General Block evacuated all the children. The town has no future except for the bunch of kids I'm responsible for. Did Father foresee this too? That means I can't trade for more panaceas even if I find more of them. Save my wards at any cost. Antibiotics, schmouters, last vials of panacea. Anything to keep them alive. It'll all be over soon. Shit. I've seen the kin's guts. Yeah. They're all labeled on the map. What happened to the polyhedron plan? Did Block empty out the polyhedron? Was he even able to get inside? Did he have that choice? Shit. Oh boy. Oh man, all right. I'm gonna take a moment to think about this one, because I need to have some semblance of plan. Uh, it's kind of a leap of faith. I don't... I have to hope some kind of quest pops up today that lets me... dig for blood? I can think of one potential source of blood. But, I don't, but it's a potential spoiler from the last game, so I won't comment on that yet. I'm just hoping something comes up. Because if uh, if not, if this is just the test, like, hope you, hope you stockpiled well enough, then shit. <laughs> There's definitely traps throughout. Uh, I cured myself, Notkin and Khan, I think. Notkin and Sticky. So I've cured three people, I think. Did I cure Notkin twice? Or once? It's like that stockpile would have helped here. And also I gave one Schmouter to 
the changeling, which certainly would come in handy right about now. Uh, but even then, if I hadn't cured myself and the others, like... There was the time that I, I tried to- I did one full day of me being infected, and it was draining my resources so rapidly that it seemed unplayable. So I don't- I'm not sure this playthrough would have gone better if I had been infected the entire time. And while you can help not kin and sticky and so on, other ways by treating them, as long as they're infected, they could die on any given day. We've seen the dice rolls, like they can be like, wow, they have to have really low, uh... Some of them are like, it's like, oh man, he, they, that person had to, be, had to be so infected in order for that dice roll to be lethal. But other times it's like, oh, they have one particle of infection, they're dead now. Like, they, they can land anywhere on the scale, and so... Notkin in particular, I think, got sick on like day three or four, so early in the playthrough, that like... That dice roll happening like nine times, that wasn't gonna... Or like seven times, that wasn't gonna... Like... There, he was he was gonna die regardless if I didn't deal with that, I think. Just, I don't know, some of these were more mandatory than other ones. I could have screwed the changeling over, probably. That probably wasn't entirely necessary. I don't know. Uh, we, I'm, I'm feeling the uh, resigned feeling of, oh, so that's it then, huh? Are we, getting, are we gonna get the bad ending? If that's even how the ending's determined, how many kids are alive, I don't know. I don't know. Uh. All right, let's go. How we doing on... I slept a tiny bit. My exhaustion's no longer completely filling the thing. Oh, right. In this particular run, I haven't refilled. Oh. Man. I guess I'm taking my items with me out of, like... Some sense of vague... Misguided hope. That, that he's wrong somehow. About the kids. I don't know. Started the brew already. Give me another two hours. So we're not ready to do more of that yet. Uh, I have no panacea. No panacea and no... Uh, Schmatter at the moment. We have to commit once again. Hmm. I would take the boat if it would actually save me time, but I don't think it will. No. visit the store. Maybe he'll fucking blow my mind with his cool panacea stash out of nowhere. Mr. I still accept money. Nope. Nope, not blowing my mind right now. He'll buy the nuts. Oh my god. It's like the last water supply in town. I'm about to drain it. It's empty. No joke about the draining. I did. <laughs> then there's just another bottle to taunt me. Day 10, in which the plague finally stops playing to lose. Everyone just fucking disappeared all around me. That was a weird moment. New work's awaiting you at the hospital. Yeah, great.
Mm. This time I'm so close to that location at the time of the transition that maybe I should check it out. I don't know, man. I'm a little beyond hope here, so I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, maybe whatever's at the hospital will somehow lead to me discovering more panacea. I'm not hopeful. At least we're out of the disease place. Shit, I was just at Town Hall. Why did I use the clock? Alright, well. What's the deal here? The show's over. I'm a doctor. Entry's forbidden. There's nothing inter of interest inside. It's all over. What do you mean? We have received a clear report. Everyone who gets infected dies. There's no cure. There's no chance of salvation. So why would you need a hospital? It only makes the germs swarm. But there is a chance, and there is a cure. You got it with you right now? You said you were a doctor, huh? I am. If I give you a cure, will you let me in? This division doesn't disobey orders. The general is very strict about the chain of command. Yeah, General Ashes, beast of a man. I've heard a lot about him. Well, maybe there isn't work at the hospital. <laughs> the hospital is closed. Never mind. Well, good thing I checked by so I didn't come by, come by later and find out I can't go here anyway. Coffee? Coffee? Coffee. A rare chance at getting coffee. I'll take it. On this last day. Not last day, but on the day of, hey, everybody's dying. Uh, coffee sounds nice. Coffee sounds pretty nice right about now. Hmm. I need that for upgrades that I probably won't be able to afford, but let's try anyway. Uh, she's running from something. Oh yeah, the Plague District. Isn't it fun to pretend to have hope? I can't upgrade that shit. I think I'm now fully stocked to upgrade the shit out of that thing. Whoa, someone's throwing Molotov cocktails. Whoa. I think I've I think I've heard those people, but I don't think I've ever seen them. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually seen uh, arsonists around. I think I've only heard some breaking glass with which is the implication. They were such a problem last game. They were so deadly. But less so this time. Uh, I gotta create a triage list. Uh, what? Okay. Hitching again. I've gotta kinda create a triage list of who I wanna cure. Uh, of course I didn't just find one in the wild. But no, none of those giant engineering kits or whatever they're called. I need a toolkit. I don't think I will, I don't think I'll find one. God, I think I remember seeing one or two, but, you know, I couldn't really afford them that much. I was trying to get the kits to increase my inventory size, and I was already breaking bank most of the time. I've been perpetually running out of money all the way up until the moment where the game decided, Hey, money is not necessary for food anymore, and then, and then suddenly I have money, because my food's bought with something else. Although I haven't spent today or yesterday's food tickets, because I've been kind of doing okay on food, which is weird. Please tell me that you're full of living blood. Come on. Let that be the payoff. God, I can't even talk to him. Uh. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, 
I'm gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. So living blood, right? Living blood and something I have a lot of. So these, this this works fine. All right, so two more are brewing and then that's that's all I've got for now. Uh, X give medicine. X gonna medicine you. There you go, Schmatter. You live, Sticky. You live. It'd be really fucked up to just watch you die like right here in my house of all people. The inventory is getting iffy. But here we go, there's my panacea. There's my blood. I'm out of living blood, and I don't know if I can get any more, so... Right now, we need to operate under the assumption that everybody's going to die that I don't save. So, Sticky is safe. I have Murky, Victoria, Notkin, Khan, Grace, and Taya. Uh. I've got to save Grace. No, not Grace. Uh, Capella. Victoria Olgumskaya. Because she's like the leader of the kids, sort of. The two leaders are kind of Khan and Grace. I don't know. I'll try to treat anyone I can otherwise. Taya's not supposed to... Taya's probably the lowest priority. I don't know. What does her infection mean? Does it mean that she is essentially a betrayer of her own people's ways? Since he was- since she was infectable at all? Anyway, let's write down... So it's 9am, so... 12, so 1 o'clock. So 1 o'clock, or 13 o'clock specifically. Yeah, is gonna be when the next batch is ready. So I have until then, I can go cure two people. But I don't have to hurry right now. They're all thankfully nearby. They're in a circle around here, they're not like on the far reaches of the city. That's good. I would like to save Khan. Why did you go back? Like, why aren't you in the tower? I don't know. It's kind of a Sophie's Choice situation where you're choosing which of your kids to let die. I'll try to save them, like I'll try to treat them. So that they, hopefully the dice roll doesn't kill them tonight, but it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I've intentionally avoided the situation as much as I could. And uh, the culmination of all my choices is an imperfect outcome. It's a decent example of the idea of your choices having consequences. There's, we've actually had a good example and a bad example today, in different ways. A bad example of, your, of having consequences for your gameplay is when it's not poorly communicated and you get screwed over by surprises. Like, uh... One of the biggest ones was when I fucking just threw away my living blood in a button press that... Of course the player wouldn't want to do. That was stupid. But, uh... Having the- having choices you made days and days ago, for example, have consequences now is a really strong way of getting around the idea of, like, this question of whether or not you should load saves and stuff like that, or what you should do. Like, the game has a clear forward momentum where, generally speaking, a, pl a player will be not 
usually won't want to go back to a previous uh, day after the whole day is concluded. Like the choice to proceed to the next day feels like a concrete step forward that you're that that you're meant to permanently stick to. Especially since if you do massive rewinds, then you're just going to be stocking up on death consequences because you can keep dying during your, during your replay if you replay half the game, for example, in the same run. So I always I always feel like that's like that's everything everything's done now if you if you skipped forward the next day like that the past is the past now in that area and it's all about like picking the right run for that day that you want to stick with so having things that you made oh the series of choices you made across the whole playthrough culminate in this moment like this where it's like how many cures do you have Welp, like that like that that's i'm i've made my bet at this point one thing for sure is that these four can fuck off. <laughs> All these people that got sick even though I tried to treat them. Uh, is it, am I gonna let Murky and Taya roll the dice? Khan? Khan's one role was as the leader of the t of the town, uh, as the leader of the polyhedron. It really does feel like he failed them. Maybe that's a bed to le leave him lying in. He leads a faction, and she leads a faction, and they're supposed to have resources so that they could look after themselves potentially. But I feel like those two that might be the people to let dangle. Then, whereas Notkin, Grace, maybe not even Notkin actually, because he's the leader of the Soul and a Halves, I suppose. But Grace, Sticky, and Murky are all very specifically uh, relying on you. And they're alone. So I'm going to save. I'm going to save Sticky, Grace, and Murky. But I can save two more. And Capella's like actually a mistress and the leader of kind of leader of all the kids in a way, not in like a faction leader sort of way, but in like a spiritual leader sort of way. So she has a significance going forward. And also, frankly, I've got a kind of sunk cost fallacy with Notkin, where I'm like, I'm not letting this little fuck die, come on. Uh. Yeah, I think I'll roll the dice on Taya and Khan. Alright. So I've got two panaceas to choose to how to how to dole out. Let's have, let's have that coffee. Should I have the coffee or should I? We have four hours. Let's sleep. Let's we'll, we'll I'll sleep for two hours, and then I'm gonna see if I can resolve the situation in the termitary real quick and cure grace on the way there. And hell, maybe those fucks, when I show that we're all one big happy family or whatever, uh, maybe they'll be like, yo, I got some living blood right here. How can people protect themselves from the infection? Dude, I just saved your life. All right, so two hours is when that'll happen. Let's visit grace. I really, I wish people would explain what happened. Like, Sticky's in my house, you think he could explain stuff to me, but I can't even- there's no conversation with him. I can't ask Sticky, Yo, why aren't you in the polyhedron? What happened? Cause like, they had a plan, and it just... seems to have cut off abruptly. Ugh. It's tempted to- I'm tempting to go on a tour and grab all the herbs I can, but... That's just the general sense of, I always want to do that, but... I don't even know if there's going to be much more use for those tinctures soon. I think we're on the tail end of them even having uses. And there's probably a bunch in my inventory right now that are never going to get used. Due to the ending game. This also feels like the final gambit. Like once I save them, they're probably safe for good. It'd be an incredibly dick move if the game infected them the next day. They'll kill us all. They'll spare no one. 
Hello? I recognize you. I can feel you through this cloth. You're... You. Burak's son. No. Just Burak. Your name is Artemy. I remember. It... Doesn't matter that you're a son. I misspoke. You're on your own. Right? Right. Uh, on your own. I... I want to ask something of you. Anything. I'm glad I stayed here. Aren't you cold here? Lonely? Sad? Uncomfortable? How do you even survive in the winter? And you know what? Let's not say goodbye, alright? No one ever truly leaves. You know. She is incredibly far gone, isn't she? None of the lines of dialogue we just had connected with each other. I would say something and she would say a completely different thing and then I would say a completely different thing. Like, there was... She didn't even ask anything of me. Like, she said, she was like, can I ask you something of you? And then she just didn't. Like, <laughs> the, the conversation was just random phrases thrown together. I assume it's because she's completely out of sorts. Don't you dare. People need you here, the living and the dead. Also, here's your cure. I have to justify who lives and who dies. Hooray. Well, you change out those, those uh, rags really quickly. It's... it's pretty out. Maybe it's not pretty out. Maybe it's just almost pretty out in the vague way that pathologic can be. I don't know. That's probably not good air quality, all that fog. That's probably indicative of not great things. I stay away from that guy. I don't trust that guy. Shit. I went into a house. I can't fully verify the lack of kids. When I went into a house on the one I was running around, there was just nobody in it at all. Which is concerning. I don't know who answered the door. There were lock-pickable doors, though. So maybe behind those. Yep, yeah, Peter's in danger. Can't deal with that, bro. Sorry. I'm in an infection district right now? I guess so. 